How's it going? So in today's video, I'm gonna be finally showing you my ultimate minimalist budget desk setup. So a few things, not everything in this desk setup is gonna be the most budget friendly thing you're ever gonna see. I am a pretty budget friendly person, so I always try to keep that in mind whenever I buy anything. Second off is this is a workstation for me. I don't really do a lot of consuming here on this desk. I don't do any gaming. And also I'm just not really a tech guy. So if you're expecting a lot of the coolest tech to be living on this desk, you're gonna be disappointed. Everything that lives on my desk is functional and recently I've been doing some upgrades to the things that I have on my desk to make it even more ergonomic and just help me keep it a very clean and tidy editing station. So when it comes to my desk, I actually use an Ikea kitchen table, which is a perfect size for everything that I need. I think it cost me about 50 bucks. Some modifications that I made to this Ikea table was I put this foam padding on the edge so that I could lay my wrists down and it wouldn't dig in to my skin and I also added this little flip down hook that I can put my monitoring headphones on. For the computer chair that I use, this one is just a really basic office chair. It's pretty comfy, it gives decent lumbar support, it's got a headrest, and I also switched out the plastic caster wheels with some rollerblade wheels, and that just helps it move around my office a little bit easier. So now let's get into the good stuff. I use a 2019 16 inch MacBook Pro, and this is basically maxed out except for the RAM. I have 32 gigabytes of RAM instead of the 64. My thought process was when I bought this, I knew that newer Macs were gonna come out and eventually I was gonna upgrade. So I didn't wanna spend the most money buying the most maxed out MacBook Pro because I knew that eventually I was gonna be upgrading. So this has actually been working perfectly fine for me though. I edit all of my 4K stuff on this MacBook Pro and it cuts through it like butter. So I don't really have a need to upgrade right now. And I don't use any dongles or any crazy hubs or anything like that. I just use a very basic USB-A 3.0 hub that I connect my external hard drives and just any other USB accessories that I need. I have this gray felt mat that I keep my keyboard and my mouse on and this is great to use as a mouse pad and I think it just makes the whole desk look really nice and clean and it kind of goes with the whole gray and black vibe that I have going on. For my keyboard I use just a very basic Bluetooth keyboard. This one is like a knockoff of the Apple keyboard. I think it was only 20 bucks though and it works perfectly fine. I don't need anything more than that. I did upgrade my mouse though. The recommendation from Dave Mays was actually to get the Logitech MX Master 3 mouse for Max and boy, this is so much more ergonomic and it works so well. Great connectivity, so many different buttons that you can use, especially when scrolling sideways inside of Premiere. I really like that. So that's one upgrade that I did recently that I definitely wish I had done earlier. It's not the cheapest mouse ever, but definitely worth the upgrade. Real quick, I wanna thank the sponsor of today's video, which is Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community for creative and curious people. Whether it's photography, video, design, Skillshare has thousands of inspiring classes to help you gain more knowledge in whatever subject you're interested in. Skillshare is curated specifically for learning, so you'll never have to deal with any annoying ads. One Skillshare class I definitely recommend is Building a Filmmaking Career, How to Find Success as a Video Creator by Simon Cade. Simon is one of my favorite YouTubers, and he shares how to create and sustain a successful career as a video creator. From how to earn money, what equipment to buy, and how to build an audience, Simon shares some valuable knowledge from his years of experience as a filmmaker and YouTuber. This class is a must watch. What's really cool is that the first 1,000 people to click the link in the description below will get a one month free trial of Skillshare. So be sure to click that link and get yourself a one month free trial. Once again, Big thanks to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. For my speakers, I use the Personas Aris E3.5 desk monitors, and those sound really good. They're only about a hundred bucks, and I have them on these little speaker stands that help absorb the rumble and get them up and pointed at my ears a little bit better. Recently, I switched out my traditional monitor stand for a VESA mount arm, and I put my Dell U2518D, I believe is the number. That's the monitor that I use, and I put that on the VESA monitor arm, and that works out really well. 
gives me a lot of options to move the monitor and it just cleans up my desk a little bit more. On the back of my Dell monitor, I have a media light bias light, which is specifically designed for putting on the back of video editing monitors like this. It's a 6,500 Kelvin light. And what that does is it helps you perceive contrast and brightness a little bit better on your monitor. As I said before, I do calibrate my monitor with the Spider X Pro monitor calibration unit. And I use that with Display Cal to get proper colors onto my monitor. This isn't the most expensive monitor. It's not the greatest as far as color representation, but it does cover 99% of the sRGB range, I believe. The one thing that's nice about the VESA monitor arm is that it actually does a pretty good job at having cable management. So all the cables just live inside of that arm and it keeps it really nice and clean. So that's one thing I really like and that VESA monitor arm only cost me like 20 bucks. A couple other minor things is I do keep my SD card organizers on my desk a lot just so I have access to them when I need them. If I'm backing up footage to an external hard drive, that'll sometimes be on my desk, but ultimately I like to keep my desk as clean as possible. The only other thing that lives on my desk is my Smokey the Bear coaster for my coffee mug. As you all know, I edit in Adobe Premiere Pro and I've been trying to get the hang of this device called the Tour Box, which you can use with DaVinci, Premiere Pro, and Final Cut, I believe. And it's basically just a control box that you can program a lot of different functions to and it's going to make your video editing a lot quicker so i've been trying to learn that i might come out with a review on that if you're more interested in it please let me know in the comment section below so i'm going to have links to as much of the gear that i mentioned as possible so you can check that out in the description below if you have any questions or comments please let me know and if you'd like to check out some more videos you can click right here thank you so much for stopping by and i'll catch you all next time later